What if Goku learned God Key earlier? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 6? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku learned God Key earlier, we have mentioned that Goku has now gone and defeated Cell and decide to go and train with his family and loved ones for 7 years straight. It has been a 7 year time gap since Goku defeated Cell and within those 7 years, Goku and Vegeta decide to become sparring partner and train every day with one another. Goku got Vegeta to train with Mirrors as Vegeta was now able to tap into God Key and even go beyond that. While Goku continued to grow stronger and stronger, Goku and Chichi then had a child and they named him Goten, who happens to be born with God Key due to the fact that his father also had God Key. Goku and everyone was living their life peacefully until one day Supreme Kai has come to planet Earth and saw that Goku was there and told them about the danger about Majin Buu and that if they don't stop him, Majin Buu would go and destroy the entire Earth. With that, they decided to go and confront Majin Buu and saw that he was already inside his Super Buu form. Vegeta tried to fight him as his Super Saiyan Blue nevertheless, but Majin Buu went and absorbed Vegeta, absorbing his power with his own, making him a lot stronger. Without wasting any time, Goku went and he used his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and he managed to power up a finishing blow, killing Majin Buu right there and now he has wished Vegeta back and they begun training at Supreme Kai's world, while Beerus the Destroyer has now woken from his slumber. What if Goku learned God Key earlier? Part 6 Goku and Vegeta along with Gohan were busy training at Supreme Kai's world since it has been over 5 months they have been there. Gohan on the other hand was able to wield the Z sword and even break it allowing for the old Kai to be released. While he did that, he got his mystic power unleashed by the old Kai as his way of saying thank you to Gohan. Old Kai then offered Goku and Vegeta to get their potential unlocked as this had a result of what it did to Gohan and from there they have agreed to do so as they began getting their potential unlocked. Goku and Vegeta both got a huge power to their Zenkai and while Gohan was trying to figure out his whole mystic power thing, back at Beerus world, Beerus was coping with hearing the idea that there are now two Super Saiyan God. Whis, what are you talking about two Super Saiyan God? I'm confused. Well my lord, it's like I told you. There are two Saiyans living on planet Earth and they managed to get Super Saiyan God. But how Whis? Didn't Frieza kill all the Saiyans? Yes, but they're the survivor of the Saiyans you can say. They're the one who survived the blast. Oh I see. And you say they both got Super Saiyan God, huh? Yes they do my lord. And one of them, his name is Goku. He is actually the stronger one. Way stronger than the other one. He's the one I could see beating you. Is that so? So this Goku fella is strong enough to even beat me? Looks like what I prophesized has come true. Okay Whis, tell me where is this Goku guy? He is on Supreme Kai's world as we speak. What? How are the Saiyans on the Kai world? He allowed them to come there my lord. Very well then Whis, let's get there right now. I wanna meet these two Super Saiyan God. It'll take us 20 minutes. Beerus and Whis has now left this planet, making their way to where Supreme Kai's world. Goku and everyone continued their training since Goku and Vegeta did get their potential unlocked. Goku on the other hand was now looking at Supreme Kai as he was very nervous and looking towards the sky. Goku then said, Yo! Supreme Kai! Are you okay? What's going on? Uh, nothing Goku, I- Whoa! What is that power? <gasps> so you're able to sense it too? Yeah! What is that? I'm afraid that's Beerus the Destroyer. Beerus the what? He is a destroyer for this universe. You know how I'm a supreme Kai for this universe? We also got a god that destroys stuff and that's Beerus. And he has heard about you Goku. He wants to fight you to see just how powerful you are compared to him. Beerus wants to come fight me? How strong is he? He is very strong. Something you should not ever fight with. 
<laughs> Alright then, I'm game. I can't wait to see how strong this Beerus guy is. Supreme Kai then began to explain Goku everything about Beerus and before anything can happen, Goku and Vegeta saw that someone has now arrived to planet Supreme Kai and it was no one other than Beerus. Beerus then came as Supreme Kai was really shocked to see him and said, Lord Beerus, it's good to see you're awake, but why have you come here? It is good to see you too, Kai, and I'm here to see those two Saiyans you got harboring at your planet. Tell me, Kai, why are they even here? They helped up to stop Majin Buu, so I offered to train them, help him to get stronger. I see. And you're Goku I heard all about, huh? The one who even managed to learn God Key. By what's his name? Uh, his name was Mirus, my lord. Right, Mirus. So you learned God Key by Mirus, huh? <laughs> Yo! And I see your beers a destroyer! That's right, Saiyan. Ah, if it isn't Prince Vegeta residing on this planet with his fellow friend. I wonder how you're doing, Prince. But tell me, how did you even survive the blast? B Beerus the Destroyer! Now I remember who you are! You, you came to our planet! Yes, good to know you know who Lord Beerus is. But tell me, Vegeta, I heard you're the Super Saiyan God, huh? I want to see how powerful you are. No, I am the Super Saiyan God, and so is Kakarot. I've been hoping for you to say that. Well, today's your lucky day. Fight me and try to beat me, or even make me go all out. If you guys do that, I'll let you guys go. Let us go? But why would I want to fight you? <clears throat> let me rephrase this again, Vegeta. Fight me and push me to my limit, or I'll destroy your planet Earth that you guys reside on. Hey, don't say anything about my planet. You need to bring that into this. And if it's a fight you want, Beerus, it'll be a fight you get. Before Goku can react, Vegeta went and he screamed. <laughs> Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. Well, Beerus, destroying you is gonna make me have a smile in my face. Let's see you handle me in my Super Saiyan Blue then. Very well, Saiyan. Show me what you got. Before anything can happen, Vegeta managed to come rush right towards Beerus as he tried to hit him, but Beerus caught his fist. And before he can make the next move, Vegeta went and he uppercut Beerus, getting to be sent flying high in the air. With that, Vegeta went and he powered up a final flash and aimed it towards Beerus, but Beerus managed to disperse the attack and say, You disappoint me, Vegeta. I was expecting for you to give me a good fight, but is that all you got? You need to be gone. Beerus then went and he strike Vegeta down, getting Vegeta to go right back to his base and he passed out. Goku stepped in and said, My turn! <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Upon using his Kaioken, Beerus got a little bit excited and said, You might be a worthy opponent after all, Saiyan. Show me what... Before he can finish his sentence, Goku strike Beerus right in the face, getting to be sent flying towards the ground. Goku then rushed at him, as their power clashed with one another and they were going back and forth. While that was happening, Vegeta got up and he was very shocked to see just how amazing Goku was doing against Beerus. But Beerus and Goku were going head to head, doing everything they can to overpower one another, not caring what was around them. While they were fighting, someone was making their way towards Supreme Kai's world, as they have now arrived and there was no one other than Mirus. Mirus heard that Goku and Beerus are fighting and he wanted to check it out and saw it was true. Upon his arrival, Whis then saw Mirus and said, How are you Mirus? Oh master, it's good to see you. I'm doing good, how are you? Not too bad. I'm guessing you're here to see how Goku's doing against Beerus, huh? Well, I never thought those two would fight, but yeah, I wonder who's gonna win. Well, from what I see, I think Goku might have the upper hand. 
Goku and Beerus continued to attack each other. And with that, Beerus then looked towards Goku and said, Not bad, Saiyan. Ever since you used that trick of yours, I say it's kinda impressive. But now, how about I go and use 100% myself too? Beerus has now used 100% of his power, as he looked towards Goku and said, Like I said, Saiyan, this is me and my 100%. Let's see what he can do. It doesn't matter how much you use, Beerus. I can always just increase my Kaiyu Ken. Goku rushed towards Beerus and tried to go for the punch, but with that, Beerus went and kicked him in his jaw, getting Goku to be sent flying towards the ground. Beerus then went and he powered up a lot of small Hakai blasts, and he threw it towards Goku, getting his entire gi to be torn up. But from there, Goku got up as he powered up his Kaioken and said, You may be strong, Beerus, but I still have a lot more fight left in me. Is that so? It's good to hear that saying. I also have a lot of fight left within me too. Now it's time to die. Beerus began to go and power up, while Goku went at him and he tried to hit him. To Beerus' surprise, Goku managed to come right in front of him as he striked him right in his stomach but saw it didn't do anything to Beerus. Goku was shocked to see that as he punched him again but Beerus at 100% was able to withstand all of Goku's head. Goku then was shocked to see how Beerus was able to do that as Beerus went and punched Goku in his face and said, You disappoint me too Saiyan, here I thought that you would actually give me a good fight at my 100% but you hardly could push me anything in this. Okay then, I'm bored, I'm gonna go and destroy your world. What? No! Supreme Kai, come with me and take me to planet Earth at once. Uh, very well, my lord. As Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai Beers to planet Earth. As he was outside of space and he went and powered up a massive blast, getting ready to destroy planet Earth. Goku followed as he took Whis and Mirus since they also wanted to come and he arrived to planet Earth seeing that Beerus was powering up a Hakai blast strong enough to destroy it. He then went and aimed it right towards planet Earth. Goku came running from the blast as he tried to hold it off and did everything he can to push the blast away from Earth, but it wasn't strong enough and with that, Goku went and screamed allowing the blast to be upheld by him and therefore a loud explosion happened. Once when the smoke cleared, Beerus saw that Goku was passed out as he smiled and said, Not bad Saiyan, I never thought you would actually go such length to save your planet. Oh well. I'm afraid this fight isn't over yet, Goku still has the power to get up. As everyone saw that Goku's body began to glow, Goku then got up and looked towards Beerus while Beerus smiled and said, You have come for more, huh? Goku then went and he closed his eyes as he took a deep breath and from there Goku felt a surge of energy coming towards him as he went and used his true power. Goku has now tapped in to his Ultra Instinct for the very first time. Due to the fact that Beerus' attack triggered Goku's Ultra Instinct, he was able to now tap into it. Beerus on the other hand had no idea what just happened, as he was shocked to see that Goku was inside his Ultra Instinct and said, What? How did you survive that attack? It makes no sense! Oh my! It looks like Goku finally just did what I think he did! I'm still not done yet Beerus, it's time we put an end towards this battle. Ah, uh, you cocky son of a! Before Beerus can say anything towards his surprise, Goku was already right in front of him, as Goku went and kicked him in his face, getting Beerus to be sent flying towards the planet. Beerus then followed back, as he went and tried to attack Goku, but Goku dodged all of the attack like if there were nothing. Beerus tried to do everything he can to hit Goku, but he continued to dodge it, as Whis and Mirrors was watching the battle with a lot of pride in their face, seeing Goku using Ultra Instinct for the very first time. Goku then went and headbutted Beerus as he went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and from there before Beerus can flinch, Goku appeared right in front of him and aimed the wave right towards Beerus as the wave went and hit him head on. Goku has now done the impossible as he managed to go and tap into his ultra instinct power and even defeat Beerus the destroyer. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Learned God Key Earlier. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans to be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. 
so you can become one of the first Z fighters. And if you haven't subscribed to my boy Vegeta T23, please subscribe to him now so he can get his way towards 10,000 subscribers.